All right. So another uh, another really important metric that I want to talk you through is called profit per trade, because one thing that is really important when we analyze a trading strategy is how much profit do we actually make per trade? Because mm -hmm. if our profit per trade is really small, then we could end up just not, um, you know, not making enough to cover our trading costs because, you know, every trade you have to pay a commission to your broker and you also have to cross what, you know, I told you, I talked to you about this before the bid and ask spread. So every trade, you will lose a little bit of money, uh, which is called transaction costs. And so if these transaction costs are too or too high for, for, for the profit that we make per trade, then it's not worth it. Okay. And now profit per trade, we can actually not calculate uh, with the uh, realized returns, we ha uh, with the unrealized returns. We have to do it with the realized returns. And it's, it's pretty simple because the realized returns are just the trades. And so if we want to calculate the average profit per trade, all we have to do is np.mean. Um, and then um, I think we call it PLs, right? And so here we go. So what this number tells us is we make roughly 2% profit per trade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now um, that's actually a pretty good profit because depending on your broker and everything, your trading costs, if, if you're a professional, your trading costs may be maybe uh, 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 one hundredth of a percent. Or if you're not a professional, maybe they go up to say uh, one third of a percent or so, or, or a quarter of a percent. Mm -hmm. We're actually in, in, in finance, we often talk about basis points. So one basis point is one hundredth of a percent. Yeah. And so often, as professionals, you know, when, when we look at trading costs, we maybe say, oh, we, you know, our trading cost is one or two basis points. It's like two hundredths of a percent, but they can go up, like depending on the instrument, they can go up quite significantly. They could be 20 basis points. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have a profit per trade of 190 basis points, you can easily see that your profit per trade is, is pretty high. And, and, and so, significantly higher than um you know than than uh, the costs that you might incur for trading so that's good uh, we know that you know our trades make enough money to overcome this problem and so we haven't really factored them in yet in our back test um and that that's that's relatively easy to do but for now uh, you know we know our you know our trades make enough money Thank <laughs> you.